We're going to show you now the plug and play KEBC delete kit that we are in the process of making. We currently have some prototypes that are almost ready to sell. Hopefully we will have the finished product very soon. So the original way to do it was cutting wires and wiring up a relay. What we have come up with is a connector that goes between the wiring harness and the computer. So you simply unplug the computer from the wiring harness, put our connector in between the two. You can, get it, you can see it here and everything goes back as it should. This connector here plugs into the wiring harness. The other side of this connector plugs into the computer. The wires coming out of the connector go to the relay. This relay fits nice with the tab here by your uh, tool pouch. So you don't have to drill any holes to fasten anything down. And with that installed, the two wheel drive, four wheel drive display will now work as it properly should when you have a manual four wheel drive kit. So let me start it up. It's gonna be hard to hear, but that's okay. All right, so now you can see on the display here, the two wheel drive, when you shift the quad with the manual four wheel drive actuator to four wheel drive, it shows four wheel drive. And when you go back to two wheel drive, it shows two wheel drive. That is what the KEPC plug and play kit will be doing for you. It will also allow you to remove your KEBC actuator so you no longer have to have the Kawasaki engine, electronic engine brake control. Um, but if you don't want to remove that, you don't have to. It will still work as it should from the factory with this kit installed. But if you do remove it with this kit, the quad will work as it should. If you were to remove that without having this KEBC bypass plug and play kit, your quad would go into a limp mode and you wouldn't be able to ride faster than about five miles an hour. So this can be installed in a matter of one minute about and can be uninstalled in the same amount of time. No cutting wires, drilling holes, nothing. Just unplug the computer from the wiring harness and pop this connector in.